Hello guys, hope you are having a fun day. I am Divyan Shagrawal and you are watching Tech University. Today, I will be telling you about another Masters in Data Science course which is offered by University of Exeter, United Kingdom. And I uh, will be telling you about the course fees, the course content, what to expect from this course, about the scholarships, what is the entry requirements and all about this particular course. So stay tuned to the last of this video to know everything about this course. So this University of Exeter, which is located in Exeter, uh, south of London, in United Kingdom, offers a lot of courses in data science and they have four campuses, two in Exeter and two in Cornwall. So this is the landing page of their data science uh, department. So if we scroll down a little bit, you will see there are a lot of courses offered by the Exeter campuses and uh, there are some courses which are offered by the Cornwall campuses as well. But in this video, I will be telling you about data science with AI MSc, which is offered by the Streetham campus in Exeter. So let's dive deep into it. So this is the main page of MSc in data science with artificial intelligence and uh, the duration is one year full time. So most of the UK universities in masters is one year. You need to have a degree with two is to one. Two is to one basically means upper second division uh, which corresponds to 60 to 70 percent. So that means you have to have 60 to 70 percent in your previous study. And if we talk about the university rankings for Exeter, so this is the QS page for University of Exeter. They have got a rank of 149 in world, which is a decent one, I guess, but they have five QS stars. So that's a brilliant thing. And the status is public. So it is a publicly funded university. Student to faculty ratio is again good 10 and there are scholarships. So you don't need to worry about if you will be paying full of the fees. If we talk about the subject rankings, if we talk about computer science and information systems, they are ranked in the band of 450 to 500, which is a decent rank. But given the job aspects after this, I would suggest this course is worth doing it. So let's dive into the details of this course. So this is the course offered by the Street Time campus in situated in Exeter. And if we talk about the overview, uh, they have written that they have partnered with uh, Alan Turing Institute, which I mind you is, is perhaps one of the best institute to study data science. They are also sixth in the UK for computer science according to the Times. And they are also a home to Institute of Data Science and AI. If you talk about the entry requirements, uh, as I already told you, you need to have a two is to one degree, which corresponds to 60 to 70 percent of marks you need to have in your previous degrees and uh, they also need to show the evidence of good programming ability in a recognized modern computer language perhaps python because they have uh, written that it is extensively used during this course and they have also written that candidates may be interviewed by video conference to assess their programming ability that is maybe it's not certain so you need to be prepared if they call you for an interview. If we talk about the entry requirements for international students, they accept three English scores. That is IELTS, TOEFL and Pearson. So for IELTS, you need to have an overall score of 6.5 and you shouldn't have less than six in any of the four sections that is provided by IELTS. And for TOEFL, you need to have an overall score of 90 out of 120 in the IBT test. And they have also given a minimum score ranges for every section 21 for listening and writing 22 for reading and 23 for speaking and for PT Pearson test for English you need to have a score of 58 and 55 in all of the uh, sections that this paper possess if we talk about the course content they have also given the course content so that's a good option you can explore uh, so these are the compulsory courses that you have to undergo this is introduction to data science, fundamentals of data science, machine learning, learning from data and data science research project. These are the compulsory courses and then there are some optional modules from which you can select. These are basically the electives. So you have to select 30 credits from these three courses and 30 from these uh, courses that are written here. So you can always check the courses and whatever you like. So in this computer vision, evolutionary computation and optimization, nature inspired algorithms. After that, they have given testimonial. So we don't need to go into the detail. If you would like, I will post this link. If we talk about the fees for the next session entry. So the international fees for a year for this a whole course is 23,450 pounds, which roughly corresponds to around 24 lakh INR. But they have a lot of scholarship options that they have given. There is a scholarship called Great Scholarship, which is provided by this university for some specific countries. Uh, this is the page of Great Scholarships. And if, as you can see, there are the scholarships 
separated by the country names so if you talk about india they are giving the uh, scholarships in social sciences and international studies sport and health sciences or geography so for indian students the grid scholarship would not be applicable for data science courses only where the computer sciences are coming like malaysia you have computer science pakistan computer science thailand so for these three countries only the data science courses this grid scholarship will be applicable so for indian students this is not available apart from that you have global excellence scholarship uh, this is only for postgraduate taught masters and this course is fully taught masters program so you need to check for this you need to check with college of engineering mathematics and physical sciences as you can see the data science and analytics is coming under this so you need to contact this particular department so for this entry requirements are also given uh, you should be an international student you can't be a uk national you need to be an international student uh, and you should already hold an offer full-time offer of postgraduate taught program at university of exeter and if you have been selected for this you need to apply separately on this scholarship page as you can see here they have given the form as well so i will pass this link uh, into the description as well and you need to give a personal statement which shouldn't be more than 300 words they have all also given a hint as to what you can write in the personal statement like what is your interest in your chosen program of study and what are you hoping to learn from it what are your future ambitions and how will this particular course help you achieve them if you get the scholarship what does that mean to you and as a global excellence scholar how can you act as an ambassador for the university so these are the points that you might need to focus on while writing your personal statement for applying for the scholarship this is already closed because this is taking for september 2021 intake but i am talking about september 2022 intake so if you are willing to go for september 2022 intake you can revisit this page once again anytime this will get updated okay so application deadline is just for this particular session and duration of award is of course for one year so you will be getting a maximum of 10,000 pounds uh, this is the contact that they have given also so this was about the scholarship also they have given a dedicated funding page as well you can always check it they have given a form kind of thing where you can search for the scholarships or funding so if you talk about uh, computer science let's just go computer science postgraduate taught we are talking about taught which campus we know it's Streetham campus so it's an exeter which category do you expect it's international and uh, i will just randomly uh, put in any country uh, don't worry about that uh, a prospective student and just if we search so you can see all the scholarships that are available that you can avail for that computer science section so this is a good funding search database that they have given it's pretty neat and after that they tell about teaching and research and uh, when i was reading this particular website i got a sense that they particularly emphasize a lot on research so they have a lot of research problems at their hand and they focus on research uh, extensive research uh, despite the fact that uh, this particular course is taught but they do believe in research as well so you need to have a data science project as well which is 60 credits and as for careers they have written data science data science is a budding field and all which you already know about so you don't need to go into that but the best thing is you have got a dedicated career support cell so you can always go to them and they will have a one-to-one -one support to you and they have a lot of industry contacts and partners so there is no problem for you uh, while you are studying uh, there is a huge chance that you will get a very very good package with their uh, dedicated career support team after this uh, they have also given some related courses as well so these are all the courses data science courses that we were seeing in the uh, previous website so this was it about the msc in data science with ai course offered by university of exeter streetham campus hope you like this video and uh, i will continue to post another masters data science uh, videos on this channel if you like the content and if you would like to see more videos like this in the future please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends as much as possible till then adios